Prawns, Buckos, Bounties. Yo, Bucko. Id Zero, come back to you with another figure review. Today we have the Star Wars Black Series Rogue One K2SO. Now, I know what you're thinking. If I already have a K2SO, why do I need another one of these? Well, let me tell you, there's a very... Actually, I can see a few differences right off the bat, but there's a very small change that I wanted originally um, that is on this figure. This figure has pure white eyes. Um, now the original figure, he has red eyes. I'll show that more off later. But there's actually two versions of the original figure. There's a red eyes one and like either like a black dot or like a pure white eyes thing going on. And I kind of never liked that K2SO being a rebel had red eyes, you know, kind of like made him look evil. So yeah, I'm kind of glad they actually fixed that on him. So this old one is probably just going to be an Imperial fodder, um, a security droid from Fallen Order, which those guys are pretty badass. That's why I have a uh, freaking BD posed up on him those guys are pretty menacing and yeah I it's gonna be cool to have just a security droid fighting Cal now so so I got one for my rogue one rebel shelf and one for the Empire so got both sides of the coin anyways enough stalling let's go ahead and get into this box so this is a very nice box here um, I really like this color. My camera doesn't do it justice, but this is probably the most beautiful color out of any of the Star Wars boxes. I absolutely love it. The purple from the Rebels is really nice, but I think this might be my new favorite. It's the nice teal. Got Rogue One, a Star Wars story. Got two K2SO on the bottom with the Hasbro logo. Side of the packaging. Here's that beautiful art we all love. He is going to be number three, Rogue One, a Star Wars story. And then it says K2SO, a reprogrammed Imperial security droid, now loyal to the Alliance. K2SO is an alarming sight standing within a secret rebel base. The pragmatic droid is an effective insertion agent as he will blend in perfectly at Imperial install installations and outposts pretty nice you get that really nice portrait here again side of the packaging get that teal stripe get your vent on top you get the sacred text on the bottom and we're gonna get k2 out of the packaging and here is k2 out of the packaging and we're gonna be changing it up a little bit now usually I have segments in my video that um, towards the end where he just rotates um, I'm not sure if I'm going to fully get rid of them yet. I think I'm going to turn those into the shorts just so they can be, I can have shorter videos because those do take up a lot of time. And instead, I think I'm just going to put them right here and right when I open them just so you can get a 360 view while I talk about him. I think that will work a little better. But if you guys really do miss that 360 view, I might put it back in. Just let me know in the comments. Um, I will take any feedback anyways let's go ahead and get in this figure now he does not have any accessories I do wish he came with the blaster pistol from the death trooper but unfortunately he does not so really unfortunate um, because he definitely can hold it extremely well um, so I really wish they would give him it because that's really like the one thing that I could think of to give him it. And they've been really skimping out on this blaster pistol. Just come on Hasbro. Give it to something. I want it. We need it. I want it for some stormtroopers. Giving it to K2 would not have been a bad way to get out there. But oh well. But getting into the actual figures. Here we got the new K2 and the old K2. Um, I know it appears that the new K2, K2 is a little f taller. I did get the old one used. So his legs kind of been um, put in a way where I can make him stand up but 
new one stands way better. Uh, I think it's just the figure getting old. But yeah, there is a few very minor differences I am noticing off the bat. Well, first off, the main one, the reason I have K2, the old and the new one, that those red eyes just look... God, yeah, he looks evil here with those red eyes. I don't know why they gave him those red eyes. They must have just been like... I don't know, but he looks so much better with these eyes. Now, I do wish they would tr attempt to try to put some lines in there, some little tiny lines, so that we can get those, like, protocol droid eyes. I really wish, but Hasbro just doesn't seem ballsy enough to do it yet, even though they can get little tiny lines like this. They can get little tiny lines like this, and I really feel like they could honestly pull it off now i really feel like it wouldn't be that hard to compare to this, their eyes and stuff but they can't even really get the photo tech down lately so i i'd really like you guys to attempt it at some point maybe with the 3po re-release that would be cool but yeah um anyways guys it's really the biggest difference on him uh besides just how the paint is now a lot of the scratches are almost the exact same just slightly off put like scratch here scratch there um, yeah same scratches are pretty much all over the figure um, I just think the silver on the middle is like I don't know if it you can't really tell there is silver there but there is but yeah you can definitely tell here I don't know if that's good or bad but whatever um, the yellow is pretty much the same it has like that worn kind of look going for it here's the imperial logo both look still pretty clean here's the back um, the old one actually has a cleaner looking squ uh, square there so ah, sometimes has bro sometimes same thing there it looks like that red is off put so um, yeah the red is way off put on this so so far yeah not doing too great Hasbro <laughs> but yeah um that's about it in terms of differences but we're just gonna take a closer look at the figure overall so yeah um, there's a better look at his face super nice details really digging that red there and yes that red is only on the one side uh, it's not on both sides, surprisingly. Gotta love that Imperial logo. Now, the unique thing about this figure is you have this translucent plastic for the in between, like the joint for the circle parts, which I actually really like that. He actually has some really good articulation going for him, too. I'll show that off a bit more later, but yeah, the translucent plastic there and there. Um, I really like how they did that. I hope they do more stuff like that in the future it's a very interesting take looks really good but yeah k2 just looks really good in general and buy him as a security droid or buy him as k2 whatever you want to do you could probably buy a couple of these yeah but if you wanted to buy the older one for an evil droid you definitely could i do want to pick up another one of these for possibly a custom at some point but who knows um think that's about it in terms of the figure I really don't know there's really not too much to him he has that like nice silver detailing there yeah and underneath actually I don't even think that silver is on the original figure oh it is it just doesn't look as nice so I guess that's one point yeah I also really like his like the neck joint it looks really freaking cool but yeah um and then the silver in general just looks a lot cleaner on the newer one but maybe that's because i bought the figure used so who knows anyways let's get to the articulation so his head is on that kind of like weird like uh dumbbell joint i don't really know how to explain it but works really good you pretty much articulate him as you need very nice articulation Woo very nice articulation and then his arms go out about that far so can't fully get a T pose but it is kind of insane that they could get in that far go all the way around um, 
there is kind of a bicep swivel. It's actually really nice. So this is a single jointed elbow, but it swivels this way and the arm swivels around. So it's one of the more unique articulation points that any figures have. Then also this spins around fully and the hands go up and down. Yeah, so again, one of the better articulation points. This guy is a very, very clean figure. And then his he does have a ball joint at the torso. This one is actually actually moves, unlike my previous one, which like does not want to move. <laughs> yeah, then he has uh, more ball joints at the legs. Probably pull these off. I really don't want to do that right now, but yeah. Quad joints at the legs so you can go out that far whatever then again you get the single joint knee right here again I love that little transparent thing and this has the same as the artic arm articulation so both the leg and the thigh swivel so that's really freaking dope um, he actually gets really far back to for single jointed so yeah and then down here that's where the articulation starts to get a little wonky so yeah your leg <laughs> it's so weird but yeah and then this it swivels side to side not too much but it's just enough to where yeah you can get him into some weird positions but yeah um, he is really honestly really innovative for you know really innovative um, articulation I love when they kind of go uh, out of their way to do that because I mean realistically you didn't have to implement that articulation but I do appreciate it so when Hasbro goes that extra mile it's absolutely awesome so yeah this guy is definitely a pickup um, just for that fact alone let's go ahead and show him off next to some other figures now here he is next to the new stormtrooper mold and the scarif trooper both these guys have come out recently. Uh, I think they're actually restocking the Stormtrooper pretty soon here, so if you don't have him, you might be able to get your hands on him soon. And here he is next to Cal Kestis and Lord Vader. And here he is next to Boba and Mando. And as always, here he is next to Luke Skywalker Squawker and Old Left Limbs. And overall, I think this is a pretty good update to the figure it's a very minor update but it definitely does look better than the red eyes um, so yeah it's be a good pickup if you want to army build him for some kind of Imperial army just to have him fight off against Cal Kestis or whatever um, or it could be good if you want to replace that old looking one and just have an Imperial one for the shelf and then have the normal K2SO for the rebel shelf next year rogue one crew um yeah i think he's a pretty good pickup um the box is beautiful though if you're an inbox collector he's definitely a pickup and yeah i will be also picking up these other rogue one figures um this is the only one that i actually have uh the double of i don't have any of the other rogue one figures because i decided to skip out on literally all of them because either a none of them look good or b they were overpriced so yeah we'll be picking up these guys when i pick them up maybe a little bit but yeah i'm sure we'll see them over the next month or two but as always guys you could bring them in warm or you could bring them in cold thanks for watching and good hunting